Hello, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Photo Finds. This episode is for October 21st, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo. Thank you so much for stopping by. As always, let's go ahead and begin. This week's theme is without a doubt construction. And you can see that's very clear starting here in the parking lot of the Animal Kingdom. Construction here started a couple months ago, expanding the parking lot. And before it was just some dirt but they have started paving it and adding some light posts. They're also moving some dirt still here over as well as they prepare to expand the parking lot in anticipation of the crowds that will inevitably be here for Avatar Pandora opening in 2017. Heading into the Animal Kingdom itself, these construction walls are still up around the Tree of Life, and we'll be seeing many more construction walls, but I wanted to point out the details on this particular one. These details weren't always up here when these construction walls went up, but now they have many of these murals up here, uh, kind of 3D, and we'll see a lot more of these over when we get to Asia, too. They have different themes as the uh, walls go on around the, the bay. Now, the Flame Tree Barbecue is having some construction going on. This is just a very small segment of wall over here as some vertical steel construction goes up. Looks like they're just building a canopy or something there. Now, getting a look here at the actual bay itself, a lot of this bay is just completely surrounded by construction walls and you can see some barges they have set up and some debris fences but there's pretty much no views of the water from anywhere in the park as they prepare for that nighttime tree of life show that we're going to see eventually this path over here, this quiet little path between Dino Land and Asia is all blocked off as well, themed to just foliage and forests. And as we get into Asia, some more details up on the construction walls here. Nothing too interesting, folks, but uh, just some you know quotes and Tibetan proverbs here. Now, they do have some of these buoys set up. They are numbered and marked. I don't know if these have any significance to the nighttime show construction, but nonetheless, they are here in the water floating, and another shot in the distance of those red barges that they have set up, pouring some concrete and doing some other kinds of uh, construction work as well. Now we're heading into Kilimanjaro Safari, and they have these green construction fences up, and what they're doing is nothing too special, they're just expanding out the stroller parking, because apparently the stroller parking is kind of overwhelming, lots of strollers go into the uh, Kilimanjaro Safari apparently. Now, nothing new here with the truck, but I did want to point out something. Now, I know a cast member who works on the Kilimanjaro Safari. And he told me, and this person has no reason to misinform me, that each of these trucks is handmade and costs $14 million. So, nothing new there, but comment below. Let me know if you know, if you already knew that, and in fact, if it's true. Now, we're leaving Animal Kingdom now, we're leaving Disney altogether, and we're heading over to Universal Orlando, getting started out here on City Walk. And the first thing we're looking at is the Cowfish Construction. The Cowfish is, of course, the sushi and burger restaurant coming to City Walk, hopefully next month. That is the plan. And we're getting a look here at the upper outer balcony, or one of the upper balconies. This is kind of the larger one, and the canopy is all installed up here, and we'll see some of the chairs and tables that they have set up here in a moment, but also some of the signage has gone up in the very front. This is the entranceway. And up top of that structure there, this is the main entrance structure, they have their logo up here. Now, I don't know if that kind of cowfish logo creature is the only thing that's going in up there. I imagine maybe they'll have another sign or perhaps an Addition. Actually, I do know that's only half of the logo because I did see a team member walking out of City Walk today with the um, official wardrobe on, and that is only half of the logo, so we can expect to see another red half of that logo way up top there, and perhaps maybe the name of the restaurant as well.
You can see uh, some of the signage over to the right there, and we'll get a closer up uh, right now. And this is the other outside balcony, very similar to the other one, a little bit smaller, but this is where the main upper signage is. And to the right, a uh, giant mural. Now, I don't know if the canopy of the outdoor stage on CityWalk is always going to be if it's permanently gone or if it was just removed for the uh, work that was being done for that mural of cowfish but that canopy is gone and we're seeing less and less of this stage and pretty much nothing goes on on this stage out here right next to Rising Star anymore ever since they opened up the stage within Universal Studios itself but the canopy is gone so maybe we'll see that stage platform go altogether who knows uh, the detailing work that was done to the main entranceway of Cowfish extends into the patio seating of Vivo Italian Kitchen. So it's kind of all meshing together in one very uniform shape or structure. Now one thing I wanted to point out, when Vivo first opened, where the outdoor seating of Vivo opened, they didn't have this railing up, but they do have this railing up now, so you can only enter in at specific points, and it kind of bends up into the columns there, but that was new to me, that's the first time I've seen it, I don't know how long it's been there. Heading into Islands of Adventure, they have some of these screens out here, these menu screens that display ticket prices and various other things, but this foliage, this kind of pink foliage flower pattern around the screens as far as I'm concerned is pretty new I, I have never seen that before outside of the arcade in Marvel Super Island Marvel Superhero Island they used to have this blue car out here that you could sit in and get photos taken with it is gone again I don't know how long it's been I'm always in Universal Studios um, it's been a while since I've actually taken a detailed look at Islands of Adventure so I'm seeing some new things um, that I haven't even seen on the internet so let me know if you know has this car been gone for a while to me it's it, it's brand new now, over in Toon Lagoon, this is right in front of Popeye and Bluto's Bildrat Barges and Me Ship the Olive. Their uh, fountain out here is surrounded in construction walls, and either some refurbishment is going on, or perhaps it's getting removed completely, or just some work being done. But it has provided an opportunity to set up a drink stand here, a very temporary drink stand, I might add, set up here in front of the construction walls. Right out in front of Dudley Do-Right Ripsaw Falls, some work is being done on these wooden columns, these wooden beams out here. Uh, just maybe some painting or refurbishment, things like that. Uh, has this orange plastic set up around it. Uh, it's a little difficult to see since it's the same color as the wooden posts. Another shot of those, and it looks like maybe it is just painting being done because these are some of the, more of those posts uncovered, and there's some splotches, some paint splotches there that maybe looks like those were recently painted. All right, now this is big news actually heading into Jurassic Park. This is the um, gate right in between Jurassic Park and Toon Lagoon. Some steel structure has gone vertical, and this is the construction for what is rumored to be the King Kong attraction, Kong 360. So no longer is it just ground-moving equipment back there and some dirt piles, but we're actually seeing a structure going up as well. You can see in this shot here, the structure kind of bends around, so... Mostly it's square. It looks square, but there's some curvature going in. Now it's not an it's not a terribly large building. It's nothing compared to like Gringotts or the Forbidden Journey or even Spider Man. Um, if this is going to be a show building, it's only going to be maybe a one or two scene building. Uh, the rumor is that the attraction will take place both outside and inside with screen elements and animatronic elements. So who knows exactly what we're going to be seeing. But right now, the structure is its large, but it's not very large. So it'll be interesting to see how this turns out. The construction walls are not your normal green mesh, but this bamboo here going in with the theme of Jurassic Park. And of course, they have a crane set up here um, doing whatever it's doing back there. Another shot of the steel structure. Some more of those um, 
dirt piles and bamboo construction walls. And other than that steel structure, it's a lot more of just uh, ground moving, earth moving. Not much else going on back there. Still in the preliminary stages of development. All right, and now we are headed over to Universal Studios, where all up until a few days ago, some construction walls were over by uh, the Bulls Gym, blocking entrance into the San Francisco area. From in front of Transformers, you actually had to go all the way around through where the Blues Brothers perform, through New York, and down in front of Starbucks just to get into the San Francisco area. But the construction walls have come down to reveal that pretty much all they were doing was doing some groundwork, repaving the street here. I believe it was just black asphalt before, and now it has this kind of gray stone color. I don't know the exact reason for it. Maybe it goes better with the uh, color palette in the area. Not much of a visible change, but nonetheless, it's a change. Heading into the Film Vault store, they have these Chucky dolls available for purchase now. Now, these aren't your very large size dolls that you might see in Spencer's um, or inspired by the movie. They're kind of miniature, I'd say um, 12 inches tall, maybe a little bit shorter than that. So they are not full size, but they're larger than these little kind of vinylmation size uh, Chucky dolls they have here, these good guy dolls. And these are pretty new. These came in, I believe, in mid-September. They also have these new hats. I don't know how new, the, new these are, but they have the banana and the shark and the T-Rex, all, you know, kind of vaguely themed to the the, the movies around the, the resort, Despicable Me, Jurassic Park and Jaws, not directly themed to those properties, but kind of just suggestive of them. And one other item they have here, or kind of shelf they have here, is dedicated to King Kong. They have these King Kong shirts and these masks or pillows. Headed out of City Walk, I wanted to stop at Cowfish once more, this time on the upper level, getting a look at the seating out here on the balcony. Now, I don't think all of this seating is going to be remaining out on the balcony. It's a lot of seating to remain out on the balcony, so my guess is that some of these chairs, perhaps these yellow chairs, will be going inside after all the interior construction is complete. You can see some of the hanging hanging elements they have there, the chandeliers and lighting, things like that. Around the corner, some temporary seating. This is not the seating to the restaurant. That would be horrible. This is kind of just a banquet setting. I think t uh, tonight they were going to have some type of media preview. So they have these tables set up. Maybe there'll be some tastings of the food. And some of the chefs and executives were walking around here around this bar area. And they are going to have a bar, as we can see from this picture. So just a few shots of what's to come at Cowfish, ladies and gentlemen. All right, with that said, that is going to do it for this week in Photo Finds for October 21st, 2014. I'm your host, Nick Russo. Thanks so much for watching, and until next week, have fun, guys. Bye.